<clears throat> Hi YouTube fam. I got something on my mind today <clears throat> that I have to say. And um, it's about women. Women, um, women, you may, you may have had a rough childhood. A lot of things could have happened to you. And I do mean a lot. In this world, a lot, a lot, a lot of things could happen. Many things. It could be you were adopted. You were abused. You were abused and with your real mother. You were abused and adopted with your real mother or father. You could have been abused by men. You could have been raped. Many things could happen that will de decrease your self-esteem. But in this life, you must find a way to increase your self-esteem. You need to find a way to feel good about yourself. And in the meantime, while you're finding things to feel good about yourself for, fake it until you make it. Don't let nobody else take advantage of you. If you have to, if you have to look at yourself like somebody, if you have to regard yourself like somebody who you really, 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 really respect, do that. Just throwing something out in the air. Say, for instance, if somebody said something to you and you thought about Michelle Obama, would Michelle Obama, would they say that to Michelle Obama? If the answer is no, that means they can't say it to you either. And um, don't, <clears throat> if you see a man you're interested in, don't offer your phone number to him. Do not offer your phone number to him. I understand that I'm old and these days things have changed, but some things should never ever change. <clears throat> and I know for people who are 20, 21, 22, I'm really old to you. Things have really changed a lot still. The rules are a good thing to follow. There is a book called The Rules. You know, you can kind of tailor them to fit our culture. But, um, no. You don't offer no man your, your number. If a man wants your phone number, his mouth work. A man know who he want. A man know what he wants. A young lady was talking to me yesterday. This is the point of the video. And she was saying that a man sat down next to her in a public place and he was on his cell phone. She overheard him say something that was funny and she began laughing. And um, he, when he got off the phone, he asked her, what were you laughing about? And she told him, what you were saying on the phone and he said oh yeah such and such and such happened and I was telling them such and such I just love dogs you can't see it anyway um such and such happened and such and such happened and I told him such and such first of all I'm in Detroit if somebody's sitting down on a cell phone and you start intervening on a conversation they may check you
it's not good to try to pick up on men by honing in on their cell phone conversations. Anyway, um, the man walked away after he finished the conversation on the phone. And then he say, and then he came back, he said, oh, I forgot such and such. And then she say, oh, I thought you forgot to get my number. Don't do that, ladies. That ain't cute. It ain't cute. If a man wants your number, he know how to ask for it. He ended up giving her a card. And he's a minister. To me, some ministers ain't duty squat. I'm sticking to my vows not to curse. But men smell desperation and he smelt it on her and he will men will um, take advantage of that and he's a minister wow I guess that's what ministers do the most is take advantage so I'll just put it that way for now but anyway, don't be so thirsty. Always, you know, in any situation, let a man come for you. And feel good about yourself. Find some kind of way to feel good about yourself. And if you're overweight, so what? If you're overweight, dress that overweightness up. You steal you. There are men out there who like overweight women. <laughs> Believe it. A certain kind of man. Men who drive trucks and earn a living. There is a kind of man for everybody. There's somebody for everybody. I know that that sounded um, narrow-minded. It's because I'm kind of speaking to one particular person at this time. But I beg of you, don't be thirsty. Do not be thirsty where a man is concerned. Hold your pride. I don't care how desperate you are. Hold your pride. And if you don't have no pride, get some. That's what you need to work on. I understand being abused 